mistakes made by the deaf and dumb have plagued them long enough, but it is not their fault. Sometimes we stare too long at a door that is closing, and we see too late the one that is open. It is not too late. The decisions reached at the Milan Conference provide a hopeful opportunity for the deaf and dumb. <laughs> Mabel cannot hear, but to her it is no scourge. She knows the joys of speech and the company of those that hear. She does not suffer like those who use the deaf language. Quote Isaiah for us, Mabel. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. And there is one way to stop the great calamity of the spread of sign language. It is to stop deaf people mixing, socializing, and marrying. That will spell the end of the deaf race. Why aren't you with the choir? Miss Clark has to get ready. Come on, off you go. Florence, you have to get ready. Albert will be here soon and you can't see him. Come on. Of course, it may seem harsh, but we must think of the children. If they see sign language in school, they will think it is the right way. We must give them role models who speak so they can fully embrace spoken language and their rightful place in the hearing world. It's been 10 years since the Milan Conference decided that oralism is the way forward. Yet, there are still those who would keep their sign language. Why? I cannot understand why they resist joining the rest of the world. <laughs> about Mr. Bell? Of course. Do you know what I was saying? Oh, you speak very well. Is this the church where Mr. Bell will be talking later? No, it is the church. Mr. Bell is covered in London. And what is the thing here? Let's think of where I can tell you. I'm sorry. 
a few. Did I? Oh. Where did you get me? My colleague gave it to me. How wonderful that Mr. Bell will be able to end the suffering of you poor deaf and dumb people. Don't look up. Good day to you, sir. Mabel, let's hear one more to make sure it's pure perfection. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened? Uh, no, you missed the D. D, D, D. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped? Perfect. Thank you. Other quotes? No, you keep practicing. I have to look at the Royal Commission report. I'm so proud they included my suggestion of banning marriage between deaf people. I cannot understand why in the land of Shakespeare. Shep. Land of Shakespeare? William Shakespeare? Macbeth? Yes, please carry on. People have been so slow to take on board what was discussed in the land. Still they use the ugly gesture. Alec, I cannot understand you when you move or look away from me. Have you forgotten that I cannot hear? You forget. I am your wife. Here's some trophy. I need to see your face. Are you listening to me? Yes, I'm sorry. Come, come, Mabel. We have people waiting. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the marriage of these two people in the sight of God. Does any person here know of any reason why they should not be joined in matrimony. I do.
I'm sorry, I cannot understand you. I know what she said. Thank you, Mabel. I do not want to make trouble, but I want you all to see how you bring your own suffering by seeking to continue your own death race. How could we come here and go how tell her how we do live? Francis, I know your views on Alexander, this. Alexander, please leave them. We all need to calm down. Please come into the vestry. English books. Your history books? I can't take my own me. How would you take a look me? Practice both feet. Oh. But you must know this. I learned this at school when I was your age. Read some to me. <laughs> Very good. So, what did you think about the young man, Nicholas, and his plight? I don't know me, no messing down. But didn't you understand what had happened to him and his father? Do you know what this story is about? Thomas, speak for Miss Mabel. Remember your manners. for when you're naughty. Naughty. Perfect. 
Aqua, Aqua. It helps all children and proves they can have a future if they are oral. We are not a race, we are a community. We are real people with real lives. You have no right to interfere just because you have a theory. Your report is a recommendation and it has no power in law to spoil the wedding today. Well done. You're everything. You're everything. You can do the free. I, I became dead at the age of five. I had time to learn the grammar and the language that I needed. That is why I speak so. You will never be as I am. I confess. What do you mean? My husband is not all bad. After all, he invented the telephone, and he could not have found it without us. Think about how that will improve things. Nonetheless, I know what is best for the deaf and dumb. How can you know what's best for a whole community? All you have are ideas. They are ideas and we don't want them. We want to live as we choose.
Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the marriage of these two people in the sight of God. Our religion might be right for us, Alice, but it's not for everyone. We cannot dictate how others should live. Watch this and remember it. I now pronounce you husband and wife.